Hello YouTubers, some of you were asking to test Sony VTC6, and here it is. VTC6 or US1850 VTC6 is a high drain 1850 lithium ion cell which supports continuous discharge at up to 15 amps without temperature control and at up to 40 amps with 80 centigrade temperature cut. I've tested it at 0.2C, 5, 10, 15 and 20 amps. Now let's take a quick look at my testing conditions and move to the results of the test. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The surrounding air temperature was 20-25 centigrees and before each discharging cycle the battery was charged at its standard charging current which is mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left for one hour minimum, as the standard requires. After this charging cycle, the battery was again left for one hour minimum. I buy my batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. You can find a link to their website and their sales manager's email in the description under this video. The cell which I've tested has the following marking SE US18650 VTC6 C6 G0400743 YF20U. It has the following specs according to its datasheet Rated capacity 3000 mAh, nominal capacity. 31 20 million powers, nominal voltage 3.6 volts, standard charge current 3 amps, charge end voltage 4.2 volts, maximum charge current 5 amps, maximum continuous discharge current 15 amps without temperature control or 40 amps with 80 centigrade temperature cut, discharge cutoff voltage 2 volts or 2.5 volts, 2 volts is used for testing at 0.2C and 2.5 volts for higher currents. AC impedance from 8 to 18 milliohms. Weight around 46.6 grams. The real weight of my cell was 46.83 grams and the measured DC internal resistance at 3 amps in fully charged condition was around 15 milliohms. At 0.2C or 0.6 amps, Sony VTC6 gave out 41 17 milliamp hours or 11.31 watt hours. Pay attention that the discharge cutoff voltage is 2 volts at 0.2C. At other discharge rates, the cutoff voltage is 2.5 volts. At 5 amps, the result was 29.68 milliamp hours or 10.38 watt hours. At 10 amp discharge rate, 29.46 milliamp hours or 99.45 milliwatt hours. At 15 amps, 29.23 milliamp hours or 95.51 milliwatt hours. At 20 amps, 28.61 milliamp hours or 91.55 milliwatt hours. At the end of the day, I can say that Sony VTC6 is a good hydrogen cell which performs very well even at 20 amps. The only strange thing is that Sony uses 2 volt discharge cutoff voltage at 0.2C. I think it's for showing higher capacity rating, but nobody buys such a hydrogen cell for using it at under 1 amp current. That's all about VTC6. Check out my video about VTC4, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to receive notifications about new videos. Bye bye.